I'm Chauncey and I'm Isabella and we are art mentors at the California Family Life Center. I would also like to introduce our third member. Hello, I am Emmanuel Furto and I am also a, a mentor for the art class Chauncey and Isabella mentioned. Okay, so why flamingos? What do flamingos have in common with humans? Well, a flamingo's diet consists of carotenoids, and carotenoids are found in things like algae, shrimp, and crustaceans. But it's actually what turns them that beautiful pink color, which just which just goes to show you are what you eat. So if you eat good foods, you'll feel good. But carotenoids are also found in things that we eat, such as oranges and carrots, and also pomegranates. Now to get started. So for materials, I'm going to be using a paper bag, chalk pastels, and markers. Yeah, and I'm going to be using white paper and oil pastels. And later, Emmanuel is going to show you guys how to use crayons and chalk pastels on cardboard paper or uh, on cardboard or any other kind of recycled materials you guys can use. Okay, so to get started, uh, I'm going to show you guys how to use the arm method for making the flamingos. So you guys are going to put your arm up and create the shape of the flamingo's neck and head. And you guys can have your flamingo looking any direction. It can be twisting around. It can come out of the paper and back in, really any way you guys imagine it. So I'm going to grab a black marker. And I'm going to get the position of the flamingo and put it on my paper. And then I'm going to trace my arm. And then I'm gonna draw the beak, which is like a little hook. Okay. And then I'm gonna put the eye in, and your eye can be any shape you want it. And then I'm gonna do the body, which is kind of like a little half oval that hooks up, and mine is gonna be going off the paper. And then I'm just gonna do two little legs that show how the flamingo is moving. Okay, and now uh, Chauncey is going to show you guys how to do the S method. Okay, so for the S method, you can see this flamingo, right? It kind of looks like an, like an S. So that's what we're going to do. So you can start from a little bit below the top of the paper, and then just draw a big S. And what I like to do is continue the S and going back up on the other side. And also do the head as well, as well as the beak. Which I like to think of the beak kind of like a almost like a half moon. So now you should have something that looks like this. All right, now once you've got the head and neck, you want the body. Oh, well actually, you need the Okay, so now you want the body. And like Isabella said, the body is kind of like an oval shape. Like that. And then the tail can just kind of come back off the page. Yeah, and I did two different flamingos, and you guys can have as many as you want. I did one using the S method and one using my arm. And now we can start my favorite part, which is filling it in. Yeah, so I'm going to start filling it in, and I'm going to use oil pastels, and we're going to use warm colors. And warm colors are really just yellows and reds, oranges, basically anything that reminds you of like summertime and sunshine. So we're just going to start filling it in with our warm colors. And you want to use all different colors. I'm going to use this yellow and red. And since I'm using oil pastels, I can blend it with my finger and heat up the oil. So you 
they blend nicely together. You can also blend in the chalk cast though, which gives a bit of a different effect, but I think it looks cool. You can also do like different patterns and make feathers on the, on the body, kind of like that. Yeah, and if you're using uh, crayons or colored pencils, you can't do the same kind of blending, but you can still use a lot of beautiful and fun colors together. And right here I had made a mistake, but I'm just going over it with my color and it's no big deal. And then you're just going to keep filling in your flamingo with warm colors until it's completely filled. And I'll show you one of my examples. So this is my finished piece and Emmanuel's going to show you guys how to do the background. But this is what your flamingos will look like when they're fully filled. And this is another one I did on a map which just goes to show you can use like any surface you have to ride on to do this. It really doesn't matter. Yeah, and uh, Chauncey decided not to fill in his background. But if you do want to do a background, uh, Emmanuel is going to show you guys how to. Hello uh, children, today I will teach you how to... How to today I will teach you how to cheat, how to do backgrounds textures, patterns, and using cold colors and blending. Here, I've already sectioned out some backgrounds, but it wouldn't hurt to, skip, to section out some more. And I would also like to add, you don't need to add a background if you don't want to. Like for mine, I just left the paper bag to show the paper bag. And here, the flamingos are warm colored, but, but for the backgrounds, I've decided to use cold colors since it's refreshing and cold, unlike, in contrast, the hot colors. First of all, we're gonna make a blend using an oil pastel and a crayon. I'd like to start off with the blue crayon first. see the cardboard's rippling effects. Let's give off some form of texture. Um. 
And with it, you can use your fingers to blend the colors. There's like shown here. The more you put pastel, the more bloom it's gonna bring out. And just in some areas right here. Here I'm using a dark blue with a light green pastel. A dark blue crayon and a light green pastel to hold to blend it together. And before I forget, if you want a section, use a marker to section the to section whatever you like. The textures, first patterns or anything, you can also stipple, make patterns right here. Anything really, you know. And, and see here, these are the same textures on the flamingos as it is on the texture right here. Well, I'm not going to complete the background entirely, but I will show you an artwork I finished on linter paper using sand, using markers crayons, and oil pastels for the flamingos to stand out. Anyway, Isabel, you want to show us an, a book? Okay, so if you guys need any ins more inspiration, you guys should look up the Blue Riders, who were a group of artists, and they did wonderful things with colors and animals. Of, like this blue horse. They use different colors to express the emotions that they wanted their animals to have and the feeling that you got when you looked at them. Kind of like this wonderful blue horse and kind of like what we're doing with your flamingos. So if you want any more insp inspiration, make sure to look up the Blue Riders. Okay, um, thank you so much for watching and I hope you guys have fun. Thank you guys. I'd also like to state that, that you can be creative without going by the rules and, and be safe during these times. Thank you.